Hello, Pisces. Welcome and welcome back to Pisces Network, you guys. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you so much for your love and support, you guys. I really appreciate it so very much, okay? I hope you are all doing well. Let me know in the comments how things been going. And do your best when you do this to try to be as optimistic and grateful for whatever your situation is at this time when you describe it, okay? We're going to get into a little reading for you guys, a little, little something, just to see whatever it is you need to know from Spirit. So be sure to subscribe, like the video, all right? Put a brain in the comments if it's resonating. Be sure to book your personal one-on-ones before the sale runs out. It is going to be done on the 15th. We have a new moon in Capricorn today, okay? It is a new moon in Capricorn. If you are a member and you are in the diameter tier, you have a full moon in Cancer recap and new moon in Capricorn reading all combined. A lot of good information came out during that reading. So be sure to check it out. Diameter tier gets access to all exclusive content. Circumference tier gets access to the weekly readings and early releases for Pisces. But all of the additional exclusive content only goes to the diameter, okay? All right, so for Pisces, guardian angels, archangel, spirit guides, and ancestors, Father, Mother, God, for Pisces, what is the most important message? that Pisces needs to know at this time based on what they're dealing with. Ooh. Don't let your past hold you back. So whatever happened in the past, it's in the past, it's done. It's time to start following your North Node, okay? Adjustments are required, third quarter moon. So some of you guys are letting the past hold you back and that's why you're having a problem in the present. Take time to breathe out, disseminating moon. So work on your breath. Okay, breath work. I think it's called acai breath. That's what I do when I do yoga. And it's like you breathe in your nose and out your nose. And it might feel weird at first, like it might make your eyes water. But when you do it, it, it actually, like if you pay attention to just trying to breathe in through your nose and out your nose, it helps you pay attention to your breath. Okay, I'm not a doctor, lawyer, or psychologist, so please do not take this as medical advice. This is for entertainment purposes only. <laughs> if you know, you know. Now, this is South Node, and that's on page 114, which is a six. So the number six could be significant. The sixth of the month, this month, January could have been significant. Or your birthday could be on the 6th. Six days, six weeks, six months in the future or in the past may be significant in this particular card. But it says don't let your past hold you back. South Node. The South Node, like the North Node, is a karmic point. Karmic doesn't mean ode karmic. It means... What goes around comes around. What, what you put out is what you receive. Law of attraction, all that type of stuff. Okay? So the South Node, like the North Node, is a karmic point, but it's opposite to the North Node and relates to the past. So how the past is affecting your present, perhaps even to past lives. Whatever you're going through and whatever you're asking about, there's a chance that age old programming and conditioning is stopping you from achieving all that you might. Do you feel stuck in something? This card will often come as a sign that the situation or relationship you're asking about has somehow become suffocating, even toxic. It suggests that someone, you even, needs to be released. That there's some kind of addiction going on or an unhealthy attachment that needs to be sorted out. One thing is for sure. When you get this card, you're being challenged to make some changes, even if staying where you are feels easier and safer. And the affirmation that you can use is, I release the past. Okay? I 
I release the past. Come on, say it with me. I release the past. All right. Additional meanings for this card are a relationship is karmic and has played out across many lifetimes. And this could be several in your life at this time. Several of the relationships in your life have played out repeatedly over several lifetimes. And it's time it's played out for real because it's time to let it go. Your attraction to someone may be verging on the obsession on the obsessive oh, okay so if you're attracted to someone it may be a little obsessive just because you can do something doesn't mean you should okay so i feel like this is possibly a challenge for some of you guys to upgrade your own lives however i do feel that there's a situation that you become comfortable in that could be causing this disruption or confusion in your mind and your thoughts when it comes to what it is that you are doing. And that's what you need to focus on trying to get control over, trying to get balance, not control, but balance over. Whatever the situation is, it's related to outdated thinking, outdated beliefs. And, and it may be harder for some of you than it is for others to make these adjustments because it could be deeply embedded within you from like past lifetimes. But you're gonna have to make a choice. And I don't think that this is bad. I just think that it's what you have to do. So what is this about for Pisces spirit? What is this about? What are they getting this don't let your past hold you back message for? What is this about when it comes to their life and current situations? The fool taking a leap of faith. Starting this new chapter. Okay. That's what it's about. Ooh, the will of fortune. Ooh, and the hermit, which definitely came out a lot during that members reading. It's about a shift. And you just have to take this leap of faith. You just have to trust that you're going to land, that you're going to, that, that you're going to land on your feet. That spirit, God, source, whoever you pray to, your guides, your spirit team is going to catch you. You're going through a lot of changes. But it's time, it's time for this shift to happen. It's time for this shift to take place. It feels like a risk, but I feel like you've already thought this over. It's time for you to learn some new lessons because where you are with this hermit, you've already done everything that you can do up until this point. Like you've already learned everything that you could learn from whatever this situation is that you're in, whether it's a personal relationship, a job, a business, maybe. These bubbles, though, y'all, it's working me. I know this is weird. So you might be sticking your hand in the fire. Because I had to pop the bubble. And a bubble in your mind could be bursting. When it comes to a situation. And you just have to, you just have to take the leap and go. And just trust that you're going to be okay. And we've been talking about that. I feel like Spirit has been preparing you for this. You also are going to have a guide that's going to light your way through whatever this is. The steps that you're taking are being guided by someone wise and knowledgeable. They're going to teach you how to maneuver this situation. So you're about to be introduced to a teacher or a guide. Spiritually, I feel. I don't think this is a physical person. But they're going to teach you how to maneuver this situation. They're going to show you the way. And God, order my steps. They're going to order your steps, okay? What's the fool card? Yeah, and it's about this choice, the lovers. This decision. 
this is not happening for no reason. It's happening because you held on to something for so long and they're not letting you hold on to it anymore. I'm just saying. And it's better for you to face it because some of y'all may want to click off of this reading, but it's better for you to face it than to try to avoid it. Yeah, Four of Swords and the Page of Cups. Y'all be sure to hit the like button, subscribe. If you're comfortable enough, put it in the comments what you guys are facing, the decision that you're facing. This is a choice to step out on faith and know that what you prayed for is going to come to you. Yep, there's the fool again. And they want you to be curious about this. They want you to be excited about this. They want you to have this childlike innocence when it comes to whatever this is so that you can be pleasantly surprised. And you weren't sure what to you weren't sure what decision to make, so you prayed about it. So they're giving you an answer of what the choice is that you should do. And it's I feel like you have to start new or you have to start a new path. You tried to handle everything on your own, but you can't. It's not humanly possible. We have to have these guides and people on our spirit team to help us work through these situations because if not, we would all be out here pissing in the wind. And that's just what I feel like this is about. I feel like you prayed for answers as far as what you should do. And spirit is about to show you through the occurrences in your life the answer to your prayers and what you should do. It's like they're just going to make it happen and there's not going to be any other choice. This shift is happening and no one can, I'm telling you, no one can change this. So like, like I've been telling the members, you might as well get your motherfucking popcorn popped. Get your uh, butter ready. Melt that bitch. Uh, what, who said that? Uh, High Priestess uh, 111, I think your name is. She was like, I got my popcorn and my mimosas ready, okay? And I feel you because y'all need to get your popcorn and your mimosas and your little whatever it is. I'm not drinking this year, so I'm going to have a virgin daiquiri or a virgin margarita or something like that. And I'm going to sit down with you with my emotional support water bottle or whatever I'm drinking on and my snacks. Really, I've been drinking carrot juice, too. I like carrot juice. It's nasty at first, but then it starts tasting sweet. But just, you know, get you some snacks. Cause, uh, you And buckle up, because the ride is about to start. <laughs> okay? But it's not going to be as bad as you think. Dragonfly. Be lighthearted. Exactly. Be be. Lighthearted, finding out things coming to the light, adapt, change, heal. So whatever you're about to find out about, because you are, you're about to find out about something, be lighthearted about it. It's going to be fucked up, probably. But just laugh if you can. You know, and, and just be like, okay, here we go. Seatbelt buckle, bitch. <laughs> the ride, we going up, okay? Because <laughs> I feel like this is a part of your rise. This is a part of your ascension that you have to go through this in order to be given whatever it is that you've prayed for. So if you upset and angry and you cussing folks out or mad about it, you may not get as much of the prayer answered as what you asked for. Things are definitely coming to the light. Things may be coming to the light about you. Things may be coming to the light about your health. Things may be coming to the light about other people in your life, relationships. I'm not a doctor, lawyer, or a psychologist. This is for edu entertainment, not education. Entertainment purposes only. Please seek medical help if you need it. Professionally, okay? But yeah, I'm telling you. Ooh, karmic relationship. Fleeting triggers turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. Yeah, you got to let go of this because whatever you're about to find out about is about to be ugly. Love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. Interesting. So yeah, getting these karmic people, karmic situations, karmic environments out of your life is going to help bring you closer to what it is that spirit really wants you to have. It's bringing you closer to who and what you truly deserve. That's really what I feel like this is. Hold on, y'all. Let me get this together. Y'all hit the like button, y'all. Y'all, 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 y'all subscribe 
hit the like button. Put a brain in the comments if it's resonating so far. And whatever you have to share with the collective Pisces, please do. It's valuable. We want to hear what you have to say because it may help someone else. Because I feel like you guys don't know. If you've already been through this and you're kind of ahead of the curve, share your experience to help those of us who may need to hear whatever you've learned. Right? Hermit energy. Let's see. What do Pisces need to be prepared for in the near future coming towards them when it comes to this message? What does Pisces need to be prepared for in the near future spirit coming towards them or when it comes to what they will experience in relation to this message spirit? Please show me clearly for Pisces. Oh, man. It was in reverse. The lovers reversed. So maybe there were some bad choices that were made. This could have, e this could have either been by you or someone else. Strong Gemini energy. Uh, possibly Sag. Sagittarius. Virgo. Aries. Maybe even Aquarius Scorpio. But strong Gemini, Aries, and Virgo, and Sag. And then like Aquarius and Scorpio, maybe not for as many of you guys. Yeah, I feel like you're finding out about a bad choice or a bad decision that either you made or someone else made. I feel like someone went against their better judgment or someone went against some type of spiritual guidance that they were given. They went against it. They didn't follow it or they didn't listen. I also feel like spirit could be guiding you not to make a decision or don't make a decision yet. Or you may be learning the consequences of not making a choice. Because that's what I feel. It's like maybe you felt like you shouldn't have, you shouldn't make a choice or you shouldn't make a decision or that you should wait. But I feel like that was your past holding you back. Or something about what you've dealt with in the past, you were allowing it to hold you back when it comes to making this choice. You may have been afraid to make this choice or to take this leap of faith. And I feel like you're learning what happens when you when you take that course of action. Or you're starting to understand maybe the repercussions of your a bad choice or the repercussions of not making a choice. Maybe this is someone else. Because this is really none of your energy, but it could still be describing situations in your life. I also feel like there's a lot of blessings that you have. I feel like spirit may want you to really count your blessings and pay attention to what's important. Whatever the situation is, is going to show you what's really important in life. Your health, your family, if you have children, people who you love and care about, your sanity, your mobility. like that. Those are the things that are really important. All this other material shit don't matter. What else for Pisces? Oh, Lord. Two of Cups reversed. So someone's not communicating or not talking or someone's choosing not to communicate or talk. This could also be someone not listening to their higher self. Oh, God damn. This devil is back. It was in the members reading. This devil card, Capricorn energy, but someone could be choosing, making a bad choice not to speak up about something or not to say something or communicate about something. Or they're detached from their higher self. Someone could be possessed. Yeah, someone's bound. I don't know. It's, it's some type of imbalance. 
It's either a bad habit or an addiction or fear, bound by fear. You could be bound by fear in a situation and afraid to talk about something. Or somebody could be bound legally by a contract. They can't say something or they can't talk about something because of a contract. What is that? What is it that people sign? An NDA? Or there could be a corporation here that someone is attached to and because of their affiliation with said corporation, they can't speak on whatever this is or they can't talk about whatever this is. But I also feel like Someone is afraid of this NDA or they're afraid of this corporation or they're afraid of this demon or this entity, somebody who they may see as a demon or having an entity. They're afraid to speak up because of this person or because of this energy. But that's not what they've been guided to do. Somebody has been guided to speak up, but they're afraid to. Okay. What else? What else for Pisces in this situation? Yeah. Oh, and here go this King of Wands. And the Wheel of Fortune and the Moon. Cancer Energy. Aries Leo Sagittarius. Strong Sagittarius. But it's like now someone wants to say something. They feel like they have to say something. But they don't know what's going to happen when they do. I don't know if this is a collective reading. This feels like this could be somebody in the... I don't want to say they're in a public sphere. But this could be somebody... I feel like this is the energy of what's going on in the collective with different people in different situations in all of our lives. Let's just put it like that. You may be the one afraid to speak up because of a contract, an NDA, or because of a corporation. You may feel like they're bigger than you. But that's a bad choice. I feel not to say something like somebody needs to say something. Because the message I was getting in the members reading is say what you need to say. Somebody needs to speak up and say something. Somebody's either being blackmailed or harassed or contractually feels obligated not to say something out of fear of repercussions. But you need to say it. You need. I feel like you need to say it. There's a shift taking place underneath the surface. This is a collective shift. Oh, Lord. It might not come out right at first, but it's going to be the right thing to do. This might look a little uneven, but we're going we're gonna to make it do what it do. All right. It, maybe it looks like it's not going to work out in your favor, but it might. Let's see. What's this King of Wands? See, a lot of stuff from the... I'm going to just say this. A lot of stuff from the past is coming back. And I'm not saying in a karma... You get what you give type of way. No. A lot of things that happened in the past are being revisited and reassessed. It's like a retrograde. Maybe the retrograde energy brought this back out, but it's being looked at again and reevaluated. Because it's probably some fuck shit going on. All right. What's the King of Wands? Y'all be sure to hit the like button. <sighs> Page of Wands. Y'all want to go watch that member reading. I'm telling you, all these cards can... Okay, let me calm down. If you want to go watch it, you will. Page of Wands. Yeah, there's a message. Or someone is getting a confirmation of what they need to do. It's like someone wants to speak up. And they're getting a bunch of confirmations that they should speak up. Three of Cups and the Knight of Cups. There may be a lot of emotions that are exchanged here. It's like someone's feeling a way about a situation. I feel like someone saw a deal go down or they watched something go down. 
but they're thinking about their commitment and how they may have gained something from this commitment or this contract or this situation. It's like somebody's trying to stay devoted, but they also feel like they have to speak up about the truth. I feel like someone wants to speak up about some type of injustice that they witnessed, but they also benefited from it. So they may be a little bit afraid to speak up about it because it's like currently they feel like they're benefiting from it. But they're getting these confirmations that they have to say something. Okay. What's the King of Wands? Oh my God. I knew it. Yeah. So whoever this person is, they're seeing clearly what they need to do. Scorpio energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, strong Sagittarius, and possibly Taurus. I feel like someone's security could be threatened because they're speaking up or their stability could be threatened because they're speaking up and they're trying to figure out a way not to speak up. I feel King of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. Yep. There's the Taurus energy or the stability energy, the comfort. Someone's uncomfortable with this. Someone's uncomfortable so they're delaying this or they're waiting as long as possible before they speak up. But we have two seven. So this is a warning. So if it's you, I would speak up sooner than later. I would say something sooner than later and communicate clearly whatever your message is. And I feel like somebody's going to be mature about it. It's going to be like, it's like, it's like somebody, I don't, I don't want to say this because I don't think this is what it is, but it's like somebody just coming out and saying that they cheated because it's the guilt is wearing down on them and they just have to come out and say it. And it's like, when they say it, it's like, oh, like it hurts. But then it's like, I feel like something is going to turn out better than what they think. Like, or someone admitting to stealing. Yes, I stole. And this is this what happened. And da, 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 da. But I feel like someone has emotion. Like, whoever is contemplating saying this or speaking up or saying the truth about whatever this is. I feel like they're not taking into consideration that whoever they're talking to about this has some type of emotional maturity. It's like they're going to understand this person's plight. It's only going to be for a second. Like it's only it's only going to be scary for a second. And then I feel like you're going to discover that something is not as bad as what you thought. And someone may give you an opportunity to like fix the situation. Somebody's thinking that something is going to be worse than what it is. But just getting it out, that's the worst part. And then afterwards, everything is going to be okay. Or this is how somebody has to come to you, possibly. What's the Two of Cups reversed? Y'all be sure to hit the like button. Ooh, Two of Swords. Yeah, I feel like someone is starting to realize that not saying something is worse. Ignoring the situation is worse than just addressing it. Yeah, the Emperor and the Queen of Cups. And I feel like there's more disagreement when people aren't talking. This could be an Aries, a Leo, or a Sag. And this could be having to do with you, Pisces, with the Queen of Cups. Like, you and this person don't agree. Or you may not see eye to eye, but it's better that both of you communicate about this so that there can be clarity. I feel like someone does value your opinions or your feelings or whatever you're going through in a situation. Yeah, I feel like ultimately this is going to turn out fine. Yeah, the Ace of Cups. 
You don't know how the other person feels and they don't know how you feel. What's the two of cups reversed with this two of swords? So it's better to talk. Yeah. The three of cups. Right, you aren't going to find a solution or a way out of it unless you communicate. I'm sorry, four of wands. This could be about a home. This could be about a relationship. This could be about a job. But I feel like someone is... The fact that you're holding on to this information or the fact that someone is holding on to information or their opinion or the fact that there's something that's being held back is preventing the progress of this moving for is preventing the progress of something moving forward if this is you guys i feel like you're worried about something being bad but i actually feel like it's not going to be as bad as what you may think it is or what you may think it'll be people are holding grudges in this situation maybe both of you are being stubborn I feel like there's stubbornness here between both of you and you both don't want to talk about it because you both may be at fault. So then that's even more of a reason to communicate because if you're both at fault, then you both can assess the situation and understand the value that each of you bring to the situation. But I feel like if it's you Pisces who's afraid to say something to somebody else, they're a lot more emotionally mature than what you think they are. And I feel like you're a lot more emotionally mature than what somebody else may think you are when it comes to dealing with a situation. But there's been a lot of bullshit and it's coming to the surface and things need to change. And talking about it or having this come to the surface is the only way that things are going to change for the better. And that's what I feel. What's the lover's reverse? Queen of Swords. Strong Gemini energy. Possibly Aquarius or Libra. Queen of Swords. It's like you don't have any other choice or someone knows that they don't have any other choice. There's clarity. Or maybe you know you made a bad choice in the past. Maybe you regret doing something impulsively that now it kind of ruined the situation or cause some type of devastation. It's like, I feel like someone has taken accountability or they're taking accountability, or maybe this speaking up is related to taking accountability in a situation and it's gonna resolve it. Yeah, I feel like there was some pettiness, hostility, jealousy, envy, negativity that could have happened in the past. Somebody was hurt. Somebody's ego was bruised. And that's why everything kind of fell down or fell apart. What's the lover's reverse? It was a bad choice. Ooh, the king of cups reverse. Yeah, I feel like someone let their emotions control their choices or control what it is that they said maybe somebody said something to you that was very hurtful or they said something to you that was vindictive or nasty sharp with the tongue yeah the devil yeah somebody let their emotions control them in a situation and it could have been you but it's okay because as long as you take accountability for the situation then I feel like it can be, at this moment, resolved. Okay? The devil is at the bottom. Members, if y'all didn't go watch that member reading, the devil is at the bottom again. This is exactly how it went down, except these these cards, the, the king of wands was here, the, the Vir, um, not the Virgo, Jesus. The hermit was here, king of wands was there, and the page of wands was here, but the the devil was at the bottom, bro, which is crazy to me.
Now we're going to do this. What's the King of Cups reversed? You had a chariot of cancer energy, possibly. Yeah, someone made a quick decision and it was a bad choice. Four of Swords. But now it's like it's a learning experience. It's something that you can heal from. Like you're healing from this. Maybe you've had a lot of time to think about what happened or they did. What's the chariot with the King of Cups reverse? Yeah, the Three of Cups. Yeah, it's like somebody said something. They spoke too quickly. Yeah, and there's that five of swords again. Communicating, I don't know. It was some type of argument or like jeers, jousting back and forth verbally. I feel like someone was counting their money before they got paid. That's not the right way to say that, but y'all know the saying I'm talking about. Someone counting their eggs before they hatch or something like that. Like maybe somebody assumed that you were attracted to them romantically, but you're not. I feel like there's a situation where somebody could have assumed that you were going to fall like head over heels in love with them and that you felt so strongly for them, but you really don't feel that strong. Like you see this person platonically and they came in thinking that they had all of this pool because the three of cups is right here. They came in thinking that they had all of this pool, but they really don't. What's the queen of swords? Queen of wands. Yeah, I feel like you did communicate confidently or someone communicated confidently. Someone was standing on what they said. But they didn't think they would regret it later. Somebody may have said something to you, but they didn't know that they would regret it later. Somebody has a lot of regrets. What's the Queen of Cups? I mean, sorry. Mm -hmm. What's the Queen of Wands with the Queen of Swords? Thank you. Six of Wands. Yeah, somebody knew that they were going to be successful or they were going to win or that they were protected. Somebody has a lot of confidence. I don't know. I feel like with this Queen of, this Queen of Swords saw this King of Cups reversed. They saw right through this person. Maybe somebody was drunk too. Four of Wands and the High Priestess. Yeah, it's like someone knew that they were going to win or someone knows that they are going to win in this situation. So they were very confident in their actions and their speech because they know that they're going to accomplish this goal. I don't know if somebody was overzealous. What's the lovers reversed up here? The Knight of Pentacles and the Death card. Yeah, but something wasn't changing. The Lovers reversed. It's like no choice was being made or nothing was nothing changed. Like I don't know exactly how to word this, y'all. But there's a lack of forward movement. There's a lack of change. Like this could have been a situation where somebody was really confident that things were going to work out, but maybe they didn't. And now they're seeing that they made a bad choice because the change that they thought they were going to see is not happening or is taking a long time, taking a lot longer than what they thought or anticipated. Now this could be you, but it could also be somebody else. Queen of Pentacles. I 
I feel like somebody saw your value, Pisces, but they were they but they didn't want to compromise with you. I feel like there was something about a compromise with this two of pentacles. But somebody stayed firm on their position. They didn't really budge or move. Somebody did not want to change their mind. They, they didn't want to budge. They didn't want to move. They didn't want to, like, compromise. And I feel like they counted their eggs before they hatched. And they may have learned the hard way that they should have compromised. So this could have been you or someone else. Don't get butt hurt. If you don't want to, you know, if this is you and you don't want to acknowledge it, then you're going to have an even harder time. So I'm just saying. But I feel like this could also be someone else. Like it could be a Cancer strongly. Gemini. Possibly um, Sagittarius. If this is like a person who just thought they were going to beat you or win or something like that. They could have been listening to someone who was telling them that this is what they should do and whatever. Okay. What's the three of cups? The king of cups. Okay, again. Two of pentacles. So it's like now this person is starting to feel. Yeah, so somebody didn't want to budge, but it's like now they're starting to feel like they don't know if they're as confident as they were before. They're starting to feel like mm, they don't know, maybe a little confused. What's the king of cups with this three of cups? What's the king of cups with this three of cups? Ooh, the fool. Yeah, so it's like somebody's taking a leap of faith to, yeah, this could be somebody taking a leap of faith towards you, take, choosing to take a risk or a leap of faith or take a risk on you. I don't know, but that's what's going on. I don't know exactly how it's going on, but that's what's going on. The lovers twice, the fool twice, three of cups twice. Somebody's choosing to take a leap of faith or risk on you because you're very confident when it comes to how you speak. Somebody may be choosing to, I don't know. It's like they haven't made a choice yet, but I feel like they're they are not going to change maybe a contract or some type of an agreement or something like that. Three of swords, two of wands. Hey, stop fighting. Cut it out, Cosmo. If I got to get up out this seat and stop what I'm doing, I swear I'm going to kick you out the room. What's the two of swords? Eight of swords. Yeah, so it's like somebody's worried about a disagreement or they're, they're worried about not knowing what to do in this decision. Knight of swords, eight of cups. Yeah, somebody is not communicating. They're afraid to communicate their fear about not knowing what to do or not knowing where to go or not their fear of leaving or walking away. What's the Eight of Swords? Yeah, they're feeling afraid. Somebody's feeling worried or afraid. But they're trying, it's like they're trying to be courageous. They're trying not to like, they're trying not to admit it or they're trying not to let it get to them. Somebody, but they're holding on to it in the same breath. Somebody's holding on to anxiety and fear about being kind of like down and out or anxiety and fear about, I don't know, somebody could be worried about going to jail too. 
I feel like these are several situations. And I feel like, like I said, this is unfolding in possibly many different ways in your life. There's someone who has regrets about their choices when it comes to how they've treated you, Pisces. And there was someone in their ear giving them advice. But I feel like they were giving them bad advice because it's like whatever they were telling this person, they their intentions, whoever was advising this person incorrectly, their intentions weren't pure. So let's just say you have someone who owes you money or someone who owes you something. And they kept being stubborn about doing the right thing. They were listening to someone tell them, oh, you don't have to worry about that. Pisces isn't going to win. You're going to win. You're the one who's right. But it was just somebody blowing smoke up their booty hole. And now this person is worried because they haven't done what they are supposed to do. And they're concerned about having some type of repercussions about this. But I also feel like you could have done something too, Pisces, or you could have maybe failed to make a decision, or maybe you feel like you made a bad choice. And you also may have this trepidation or anxiety about the choice that you made in the past. That's why I feel like there's this common ground that you and this person can find in the situation and figure out how to work together. That's what I feel like you need to know. Yeah, there's a strategy to balance things out. I also feel like somebody was stealing. Somebody could have been stealing from the government. I don't know nothing about that. That could have been child support. Like somebody could owe you child support. They were stealing from the government or I don't know. They were lying to the government or trying to cheat the system. And now they're afraid. Damn. So if you feel like you fucked up and you think that there's a person who could get in, get you in trouble, I feel like they're also worried about getting in trouble from someone else. Ooh. So it's like that could work in your favor in this situation if you just say what's going on. Like, so for example... Maybe you're working under the table at a job and this job has not filed the proper paperwork with the government to even have employees or to, or to conduct business. And maybe they're not paying you, but you also were doing something that maybe you shouldn't have been doing. And you go to, if, I mean, I'm not saying go tell on yourself. You got to do what you feel is right. But I'm saying if you were to go say, hey, I'm afraid that you're going to fire me because of X, Y, and Z. And I don't want to lose my job. But I also know there's some fuck shit going on in here. And, I, you know, how can we work together? It may work out to where you can work together. I don't know your situation. Please take this as loose guidance. Because I'm not trying to have you go in there and say, well, well, Athena said that I should tell you. No, I don't, I don't, I don't want that responsibility. You got to make your own goddamn choice. Okay. But that's the energy that I feel in this situation. It's like two people working together to come up with a strategy or an agreement or a plan that's going to work for both of you so you can leave this disagreement behind and you can both win. That's what I feel. Yeah, but, so, but, but both of you guys are afraid to speak up. What's the Two of Cups reversed? What's the Two of Cups reversed? Yeah, Five of Swords. Five of Swords, Ten of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, and that's what I was feeling. The agony lasts longer if you don't speak up or say something. It'll be over a lot quicker if you just talk about it and say it. I'm telling you. What's the Five of Swords? Two of Cups reversed? Five of Cups, yeah. This is a challenge that you're having to overcome. And this is about really recollecting and understanding your decisions. 
so that you make better ones. It's not chastisement from the universe. It's not chastisement from me. It's not you should feel shitty because Pisces, you should have known better. No, stop talking to yourself like that. Stop thinking that. This is this is this is a blessing for you to see that you no longer want to have hostility with this person or that you no longer want to have some type of like negative situation. It's exactly four of swords justice is a chance for healing and 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 forward progress and balance to come back into your life and rest. Okay. What's the seven of cups reversed? And I mean, you may even be able to finesse and find a way where you can say what you need to say without saying too much. That's what I feel as well. Because I, I do feel like there's kind of like a little bit of caution that I think you should have because you don't want to say too much. You don't want to give someone the, the, the leverage or the, the ammunition to be able to take you down. But at the same time, I feel like you're articulate enough and assertive enough and you have enough charisma to be able to finesse the situation and say what you need to say without saying too much. Let somebody read between the lines. What's the seven of cups reversed? Page of swords. Okay. So this is clarity and, and knowing more information. Maybe somebody now, somebody knows more information now, or you're getting more information now. So somebody may confirm if you take the initiative to say what you need to say without saying too much and take this leap of faith and be confident. I feel like somebody may let you know and be like, Hey, let me just, okay, let me fill you in on what's going on right here. This is y'all might actually work together. Three of swords, two of wands. <laughs> yeah I don't know what this is okay what's the page of swords of the seven of cups reversed what's the page yeah somebody now they know what decision to make yeah the knight of swords not saying what they're thinking but having clarity but they could also be saying something I feel like this could be communication. Yeah, the eight of wands, boom. It's communication back and forth. Yeah, you're going to see somebody or a situation from a different perspective. Some of y'all might be able to save some money. And like work on a project secretly. What's the page of wands? Yeah, it's like somebody's telling you their plan or they're telling you what they're thinking, letting you in on the plan. And, you know, I don't know what the fuck this is, y'all. Okay. What's the uh, page of wands? What's the page of wands? Two of swords. And remember the two of swords was the eight of swords, knight of cups, and the strength card, being afraid to say something. Yeah, and there's the page of wands again, confirming that their fear was just an illusion. Or confirming that they had more options than what they thought. Or that you do, what's the two of swords with the page of wands? Yeah, Queen of Cups. Yeah, someone was, it's like someone's going to realize that they were letting these fearful emotions cloud their judgment. That's what I feel. And they're no longer clouded, so they can speak on it and maybe come up with solutions. Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. Yeah, that you, it's like you're protected in every situation. This is a major confirmation.
This is a major confirmation not to let the little voices in your head take over. Hey! Cosmo? Calm down. Come sit down. Come sit down right now. Come on. Come on, sit down right here. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down, Cosmo. Sit down. Sit down. Yeah, sit down. You have everything you need to solve this situation, to protect yourself, to stay in your position, to defend your position, whatever that may be. Whether it's in your home, whether it's at your job, whether it's in a relationship. I don't know what the fuck this is, y'all. What's the <laughs> king of wands? Ooh, my wrist. I just heard, look at the flick of the wrist. So you might be able to flick your wrist and finesse your way out of a situation without fighting or have peace. What's the king of wands? What's the king of wands? Page of wands. Yeah. Now, this could be a message coming from somebody else. They could be talking to you about some type of legal issues that they could be facing and trying to present a plan to you about how to fix the situation. I'm going to explain that in a minute. Just hold on. Seven of Cups, Ace of Swords, clarity in confusion, seeing through the illusions, having clarity, confirmation that what was going on was really what was going on. What's this page of wands? Yeah, justice. So some of you could be getting a message from the courts, from a legal um, organization. Queen of Pentacles and the King of Swords. And I feel like you being truthful and honest or coming forth with communication about whatever you've been scared to communicate is going to bring forth this communication about something that may be owed to you. It's going to confirm your value in a situation. Yeah, King of Swords, Two of Cups. Somebody's telling the truth. And I feel like apologizing about their actions. So you can move forward from the situation and it's like going to close this cycle out. And you can go back to doing whatever it is that you need to do with your work. Juggling work and family and not being stressed out about this. I don't know what this is. But I'm going to let you know. Whatever this is that you have to say to get off your chest that you've been grappling with. Is going to bring in the communication from another person who's been grappling with something that they feel like they have to tell you, or is going to bring some type of communication in about something that was unfair for you. So it's like you being honest is bringing in some type of justice. Mm. This one is a doozy y'all signs, Capricorn, Libra, possibly Taurus, Virgo, Leo, Cancer, Gemini, possibly Aries, Aquarius, Scorpio, and Sag. Yeah, all the fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sag. All the air signs, but strong Gemini, Libra, and then Aquarius. Earth signs, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Yeah, it's everybody. It doesn't even matter. It's everybody. Yep, it's everybody. It involves everybody. Like, all of you guys are going to be affected by this in some way. In some way, shape, or form. And it's not bad. It's just... Whatever you may feel afraid of, you don't have to be afraid of it, Pisces. And I feel like you can get ahead of it by just coming out and saying, like, maybe what you're scared of or expressing this. 
having compassion and understanding. Because somebody feels like you're going to be mean about a situation, but I don't think you are. And if you let them know what you're afraid of, it could make them feel more comfortable saying something about what they're afraid of. Now, what I was going to say earlier, there could be someone who did you dirty in the past who now needs your help. And they may be coming back to ask you for help with their situation, but they did you dirty in the past. And it's going to be up to you if you if you help them or if you, you know, try to forgive them. Maybe they're just asking for forgiveness. I don't know. But that's kind of what I feel. But somebody regrets doing you dirty in the past and they're going to ask for some type of forgiveness. Let me see. Because I don't know. Uh, I, I don't quite know if you should forgive this person and they may even present you with some type of strategy that they have to help get them out of some type of bind that they're attached to or a situation that they're stuck in I don't feel like you guys want to budge because you may feel like it's a bad choice if you do feel like it's a bad choice or this person did you dirty before like this. I mean, I will go with your gut. But let's see. You may not take any action or you may choose not to work with this person. Because you just can't trust them. They may be very unreliable. And it's like they want your help. But then they don't want to acknowledge you for giving that help to them. They want your help. But then they don't want to pay you for your services or something like that. So should Pisces help this person that's coming towards them, asking for help or asking for forgiveness, uh, presenting a plan? Should Pisces move forward or not? Nine of Swords, Temperance Reverse. Yeah, I don't think that is the right time. Six of Wands and the Page of Wands. Yeah. And this is about how you feel anyway. Like you see the situation clearly that someone doesn't know how to control their emotions. They automatically think that you're going to help them. And Spirit is telling you that this is not protected. Temperance reversed. This is something that's not divinely guided or protected. And it's going to cause you a lot of anxiety. If you were to help this person. Okay, hold on real quick. Let me make sure I'm not missing anything. Y'all be sure to hit the like button, y'all. Subscribe. This could also threaten some type of success that you're having. Or it could make you look bad. Possibly in your community or in the future. Spirit is sent telling you to pay attention to the red flags. That's I don't think you should help them because especially if they five of swords, ten of swords, you seven of swords. Let them get what they're going to get. Don't put your hand on the situation. Don't put your hand on the wheel. Or if it's like maybe you do try to help them and it just doesn't work out, that's a sign you weren't meant to help them. That's what I feel. What else does Pisces need to know in this situation? What is some good advice for Pisces in this situation? If you want more information on this, watch that members reading that I just did for the full moon in Cancer from December 27th. And the new, the new moon in Capricorn, that's today, okay? What advice do you have for Pisces in this situation? Guilt is a normal feeling. Just breathe in and let it go. Damn, so you're going to feel guilty about not helping this person. You're going to feel guilty about leaving this person out in the cold. I do feel like there's a situation where something could be mutually beneficial for you and someone else. 
But I feel like there's another situation that's not going to be mutually beneficial for you. So you're not going to do it. Open your heart, not just a little all the way and let the love flow in. So yeah, I feel like somebody may help you out, but then you may turn around and not help someone else out. And it could make you feel guilty because you're like, damn, somebody just helped me. I want to return the favor. I want to pay it forward. But this is not the right person to pay it forward to. You can find somebody else to pay it forward to. Remember that it's okay to be happy. Really, it is. Because I feel like somebody helping you is justice for whatever this person who wants you to help them did to you. Damn. You see what I'm saying? That's what it feels like to me. I feel like there's a situation that you're afraid of owning up to or there's a situation where you're afraid to talk about this because you feel I don't know maybe you feel bad about it or whatever but or maybe it makes you look bad or something but I feel like you communicating about this is gonna allow you to kind of stay stay be able to stay where you are or be able not stay where you are, but it's it's like, it's going to allow you to move forward in the way that you need to at the pace that you need to. Mm. This is just like how I did the uh, members reading, but they had more cards. What? Okay, I was about to say, what else does Pisces need to know? Fork in the road. So yeah, you need to make a decision. Because I feel like you not making a decision could be a bad decision. Or you not speaking up could be a bad choice. And it's going against your higher self. Catfish, someone is not who they appear to be. And hidden truth, you are hiding from your true self. I feel like someone is hiding what... That's what I feel like. There's something that's going to be mutually beneficial for you and someone else. And you speaking up about what you need is going to prompt this person to be like, oh, okay. Pisces might not be so bad. You know what I mean? Like they might, they might be down with the get down and we could work together. Cause I feel like someone is not who they appear to be. Yeah, and your higher self may be telling you that you need to speak up. Okay, anything else for Pisces? Anything else that Pisces needs to know in this situation? What else does Pisces need to know? Any other messages for Pisces when it comes to this situation? Children. So children could be involved. Ooh, a sad man in the reverse. Yeah, so I feel like whoever this masculine sad man in the reverse, somebody, I don't know, maybe somebody, maybe you're, maybe you were sad about a situation with your children and you're this man. The sad woman card came out in the members reading. This reading, these readings tonight were weird. Research, twin flame. So somebody may be researching like twin flames, soulmates, that type of thing. They may be happy that they have their children. Maybe somebody thinks that you're their twin flame or their soulmate, whether you're masculine or feminine, man or woman, doesn't matter. Maybe they're happy that they had kids with you because maybe they know now that you're their twin flame. I don't know. Maybe they know now that you made them better because I just heard that you make me better. Oh, is that Neo? I'm good, I'm good but I'm a force when we're together. Maybe I'm good all by myself, but baby, you, you make me better. You make me better. Ooh. <laughs> That's what I heard, the ooh part. You make me better. You make me better. What's the sad man in reverse? Damn, that was fast. <gasps> Yes, somebody, ooh, I feel like there's a, okay, so for some of y'all, it could be a man or a woman, but some of y'all have children with somebody who regrets doing this five of swords to you, five of swords, five of cups, five of cups, a lot of fucking regrets, because something about the kids, I don't know, 
They feel guilty about the kids or they feel maybe the kids said something to them. Yep. The moon and the page of cups. Damn. Oh, good. Okay, it's the battery. I need to hurry up. Yeah, the kids, I feel like the kids told this person how they feel about what they did to you. And they feel so bad. Or now it could be a situation where that's why they're trying to apologize because they feel real bad. But some of you got a fucked up person that don't even care what the kids say. They still, they, they don't regret fucking with you at all. And that could be why it's something about to go down with, with justice. Because some of you could be finding out that this person is going to jail. Because maybe the kids try to tell them to apologize. They didn't want to apologize. So now maybe because the, like the kids coming through and saying, hey, mama, hey, daddy, you need to make it right with, with Pisces because you did them dirty. And they like, man, fuck Pisces. I don't give a damn about them. They deserve what they got. Oh, now the law about to step in. Somebody about to step in. Spirit, the law, spiritual law. I don't know. But it could be a situation where that could have been the decision that they had to make. And if they make the right one and they try to make up for it and do the right thing, then they may be able to avoid some type of even harsher punishment. And I feel like that could be the same thing with you. Some of you could be making this decision where you're going to finally just own up to what you did, apologize, whatever this is. And it prevents some type of like harsher punishment in a situation. What's the five of swords with this sad man reverse? Ooh, damn, it came out together. King of Cups and the Tower. Yeah, somebody is really trying to like control this. They're trying to control themselves from exploding or having an emotional breakdown. Somebody's trying to prevent themselves from breaking down and crying as well. What's the children card? Yeah. Two of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. I don't know. It's like somebody doesn't know what to say to their kids. Or they're ignoring their kids. Somebody feels like they're they're getting ignored. Because the little kid is trying to talk to his mom. And the mom is not paying attention. You may be ignoring everybody else. I don't know. This could be something happening with you and your parent. I don't know. It's like, what's most important? You got to ask yourself, what's most important in the situation? Who's most important? You have to protect and defend. And you may feel embarrassed or stuck. When it comes to the situation. What's the page of wands? Oh shit. King of Pentacles reversed. And the tower. And the six of wands. Yeah, something is unstable or this person is unstable or the kids are confirming that somebody's unstable. I don't know. I'm going to leave it alone. Ugh. Ugh. Let me see. Let's get an angel answer. Somebody, I mean, the kids, there is something about these kids, but the kids could also be researching like the connection between you and their, their other parent. And they're realizing that their other parent is a real dirty, dirty, nasty dog. I 
I just, for some reason, I just can't let it go. I don't know. Maybe the kids can't let it go. Maybe you can't let it go. Maybe the other person can't let it go. There's like restlessness. A lot of arguments, healing from all of this that's been going on. I don't know. It just feels like it's a lot. Okay. What's the advice for Pisces overall? What's the advice for Pisces? Don't let the past hold you back, Pisces. What's the advice for Pisces overall in this situation? What's the advice for Pisces overall in the situation? Ooh. Let go, possibly. What's the advice for Pisces overall when it comes to this situation? Helpful people, yeah. So let go of whatever. Like, I'm telling you, I said this to uh, the members. You're going to have to decide what you're going to bring into this new year because it's, it's starting. This new moon today is starting. You're going to have to decide right now which path you want to go. Do you want to walk the path that keeps bringing up the past or do you want to walk the path that leads you to the future communicate clearly and people are going to help you it's up to you so however the situation unfolds it's up to you um, you know regarding what it is that you want to do how you want to move forward let's see let go came out first Mm. Damn. Why I can't find it? It might be hard for you to let go or to find forgiveness in your heart. Let go says the time has come to let go of this situation. Mm. Stop focusing on how or when it will be, be solved or even why it occurred. Relationships that are unhealthy or unfulfilling should be released in order to allow something better to come along. Don't worry, source and your angels have everything under control. A key aspect to manifesting your desires is to ask for what you want and then to release it to heaven. If you've drawn this card, you may be holding on too tightly to the way your dreams will unfold. Make a wish and then leave the rest to your angels. Let's do it together, y'all. Let's make a wish. Now let it unfold. All right. Helpful people says this card indicates that it's time to expand your circle of friends. Or you may find yourself needing to do some professional networking. Make time to branch out in order to create the personal or career connections necessary to be happy and successful. Okay. So networking. This card can also indicate that your situation requires the input of those who can assist you in accomplishing the task before you. You may include professionals in fields related to your question or others who work for or around you. It could also include people in your personal life who have experience that would be useful this card lets you know that someone will be entering your life soon who can help make your dreams come true. You may have already met this person. But I do feel like it's necessary to network or to get information from people who may know different skills or more things than you might know. Communicate clearly what you want, what it is that you need. And I feel like it's all up to you and the choices that you make. Okay, communicate clearly is pretty self-explanatory, but I, real, I, I will read, it's up to you. It says, the end result of the situation you ask about is entirely in your hands. You can affect the outcome by taking a proactive approach to solving any challenges. So proactive means you, you getting ahead of it. Stand in your own power and have confidence that you have what it takes to bring about a happy ending. 
Don't wait for someone else to rush in and take charge. In order to come to a successful conclusion, this situation requires your unique perspective and experience. So it's like someone has experience, but you also have experience. Someone has information, but you also have information. That's what I'm saying. Like if you take charge and you just say what it is, because somebody is afraid to talk to you, but you're also afraid to talk to them. But I feel like something is going to be mutually beneficial for you and the other person. If you just go ahead and get ahead of it and be like, hey, this is where I'm at in this situation. You know, and you may want to find, again, a strategic way to kind of get them to read between the lines. I'm not saying you shouldn't communicate clearly. I feel like you should communicate clearly without putting yourself at a detriment or putting yourself down, I guess. But it's like, hey, if you get ahead of it, you may be able to finesse the situation so that you come out on top and figure out how to, you know, work this out to where you can get above ground on whatever this is. So I hope that helped you guys. I love you. Be sure to like the video, subscribe, book your one-on-ones today, you guys, before the sale is over. I love you so much for being here. Put a brain in the comments if it resonated and go subscribe to The Underground, which is the channel I do love readings. Thank you so much for all of you guys' support. And remember, this is our Circle Booze. Bye.